In West Dallas, fire officials say one child and two adults were injured in an apartment fire this morning. It happened at the Morgan Grove Apartments near Highway 100 in Morgan. Our Bill Miston joins us with how people are working to pick up the pieces there. Bill? Well, really, right now, contractors are working to board up the damaged apartment building here. What we do know is fire, uh, the fire department says they had to pull four people from that burning building early this morning as neighbors nearby awoke to the sound of alarms and flames out their front windows. The Morgan Grove Family Center caters to giving kids a place to play and maybe get a meal. So we've already had some clothes taken here. But this helpful hub, as you can see, a good amount, variety of sizes, is now providing resources of a different kind. The fire started around 4 a.m. Was your apartment on fire? I believe it had to be really close because by the time we opened the door, which was pretty quick, I mean, there was black smoke everywhere. No, nobody knows what's going on right now. My alarm went off at 4. Ashley Calvert lives across the street. Oh, Jesus Christ, and they're sleeping. She was getting ready for work. I could hear the crackling through my windows. I went outside and started screaming, there's a fire, because nobody was coming out. I did see kids leaving on stretchers. Um, I did see them doing CPR on one lady outside of the building. Um, they dragged her out in a blanket. At this point in time, we had about four, in four individuals, uh, two adults, two children. West Ellis Fire says they were rescued from the second floor. It can happen to anybody, you know. Sometimes we just take stuff for granted. All things considered, neighbors are thankful. It could have been them or worse. But at the same time, you want to be there for your neighbors to help them out as well. You can't. We all need to come together. We need to support these kids, and we need to make sure that they're in a good place where they can be a great future for us, too. But there are people there ready and waiting to lend a helping hand if needed. Now, the fire department says the building, people can't live in it, and they're still working to figure out what started this fire. Fire officials also didn't have an update on those people taken to the hospital. They did say, though, that when these apartment buildings were built, the building codes didn't require there to be fire sprinkler systems installed. The Red Cross has opened a temporary shelter at nearby Mother of Perpetual Hope Church, and they're working to assist the families that have been displaced.